Hey guys, this is Seth Turin, and today we're going to continue our exploration of the Coinbase commands. Last time we were looking at config Coinbase. Today we're going to look at how to exchange crypto on Coinbase. So anytime we want to do anything in Coinbase, we're going to start out by dragging over config Coinbase. These are still filled in from the last time, so I'm going to click OK. All right, now before I do any exchanging, I want to look at how much Bitcoin there is in my account. So I'm going to create an alert command and for the message I'm going to say get Coinbase balance and under currency we're going to say BTC. We're going to hit OK. All right, so I'm going to give this a quick run and my Bitcoin balance is 0 0.000059 whatever. So let's click out of that and now let's drag over exchange crypto on Coinbase. For the amount we're going to put one and in this case that's going to be one dollar that I'm going to spend. Okay now let's take a look at market. To understand this let's go to our Coinbase website. In the upper left corner you're going to see select market. Click that and you will see all of the different markets that we have on Coinbase. Alright now the one that we're looking for is going to be BTC USD. So that's what we're going to put in that field. So let's go back to UBOT. And under market, we're going to put now BTC dash USD. Okay, now we have this drop down here, buy or sell. So if we have buy selected, then we're going to buy BTC with USD. If we have sell selected, then we're going to sell BTC and we're going to get USD in return. All right, so I'm going to put this back on buy. And now there's one more parameter down here that I want to show you and that's the transaction info variable. And when this command runs, all of the relevant information that we need to look up this transaction later will be stored in transaction info. So all of this looks right. Let's go ahead and click OK. And now after that runs, I want to check my balance again. So I'm going to copy this alert command here and I'm going to paste it down here. So we're going to check our balance, then we're going to make an exchange, and then we're going to check our balance again. And now we're going to click run and see if everything runs like I think it will. All right, and here is our balance, the 0 .00005 whatever. I'm going to click OK. It's making that exchange right now. It's going to take just a second to work for the API. And now the, the second alert command popped up, and now we have 0 .0001, so that's double what it was before. Before I had about a dollar's worth of Bitcoin in there and now I have two dollars worth of Bitcoin. So it looks like our command worked as expected. And just as one final thing to think about, let's look at what is inside this transaction info variable. So I'm going to hit control D on my keyboard and that brings up the debugger. And now I can see all of the data that's stored in that variable. And this is in object format, so we can see the date that this transaction was created, the date that it finished. We can see how much money was spent. If we need to look up this transaction later, we can do so with the ID right here. All right, and that's it. So this is a very powerful command. You can use it to exchange any crypto with any other kind of crypto. You can use this to make bots that will buy and sell under particular conditions, like when the price goes below or above a certain price. You can use this for arbitrage. You can use it to get your USD back out of crypto. So play around with it and see what you can do. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.